Well, hopefully by now you know that if you get a call claiming to be from the Internal Revenue Service, it's almost always a scam. And now some homeowners are also getting calls claiming to be from the Census Bureau. Here's consumer reporter John Matarese now to explain how to know whether or not that call is legitimate. We've all been so conditioned to avoid unknown calls that if your phone rings and it says Census Bureau, it's probably a scam, right? Not necessarily. Amy Cheney's cell phone rang the other day. Um, when I get a call on my cell phone and it's not a recognized number, I don't answer it. Especially since there was no identifying name. So what did it show up as on your phone? It showed up as unknown, an unknown phone number. But it called again and a third time. Finally, Amy answered and was told it was the U.S. Census Bureau. She was suspicious. As I know from your reports and lots of other places that the IRS does not call people and Social Security does not call people. And I thought, well, why would the Census Bureau be calling me? Normally, if you don't respond to the census mailing, and you should have received about three of them by now, the Bureau will send a census taker to your front door. But in this year of COVID, they're turning to phones instead. He explained that because of COVID-19, they are not able to do their door-to-door -door canvassing that they normally do, and so they are making phone calls to people to follow up on information. So how do you know if it's real? The Bureau explains a legitimate census caller will tell you to go to the census website. There you will find the exact number they are calling from. They will also never ask for your social security number or a credit card. At that point, go ahead and answer their questions. Even if it felt weird to have a, uh, a government uh, agency making a phone call to me. By the way, if you continue to ignore the mailer and the phone calls, a census worker will visit your door eventually. So don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery, Chris 6 News.